shut the Texans out for the first time ever. They played 40 games, first time they have a shutout. They sweep the season series for the second straight year. They outscore the Texans 62 to three this season. Wow. Yeah. Yikes. Texans are two and 10 or worse for the first time since 2013. Oh, by the way, Colts now have the bye. All right, that's right. We're not all done with the buys. The Colts have the bye now. And then off a bye, they're going to play on Saturday and play the Patriots in their barn. Colts were given 10. You could have given 30 and a half. Under came in. Hard to get the over and one team doesn't score at all. All right, here you go. And again, I, that's right. I, I'm naming the guys. I didn't even name, you know, the Jerry Curl King with the goggles, E.D. E.D. That's right. Yeah. That was when E.D. meant Eric Dickerson. And then you go, you got other guys, too. I mean, you want to go Joseph Adai? He had a couple of big years here. There are a lot of people who did have been really great running backs for the Colts, but nobody has more than what Jonathan Taylor has done this year, including 10 straight, and that's a franchise record. All right, PMAC, you know what the Colts want to do, right? I mean, look, yeah. they're not going to play the Texans every week, but they lead the NFL in takeaways, and they're going to run the football. I mean – Isn't the classic adage, run and defense, are they the best combo of run-defense team around or at least as good as anybody else? Well, when they utilize those feats for their team, because last week against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they decided to kind of put the ball more in Carson Wentz's hands, and we didn't see the same production that we saw today against the Houston Texans. Granted, the Houston Texans, they're a very, very bad team, but the storyline for their team, regardless of who you're going against, is running the football and allow your defense to do what they've been doing the entire season. So that has to be the storyline they have to stick with. Sometimes Frank Wright decides to take the ball out of Taylor's hand and put it in Carson Wentz's hands. I understand you want to be able to get your quarterback involved, but me personally, it's all about two-way and it's all about the defense. Can you just do it that way, though? I yes. Mean, you basically tell everybody, yes. Jonathan, we have Jonathan Taylor coming downhill with this offensive line, and on defense, we're going to turn you over. Is that enough of a plan? I don't think so. Uh, not against the teams that they're going to be facing soon enough, right? They have the Patriots coming off to the bye mm-hmm. uh, against that defense. Very good defense. I don't think it's going to be Jonathan Taylor just go run and beat them. they got to have more than that. Uh, then they have the Arizona Cardinals in Arizona. And then they have an improved Raiders defense after that. they got the Jags to finish out the season, so go ahead and give them that win. That will give them eight wins on the season. But I'm concerned for the Annapolis Colts that they lost too many early on. Remember, they were 3-5, and five, and now they're starting to make that comeback and starting to get into it. And we can see them as an AFC wildcard team, but for right now, I just – I need, I need to see more in the air, and Carson Wentz isn't turning the football over, but do you hold your breath for that long with Carson Wentz? I don't, I don't know that you do. Uh, see, I think this is a playoff team. I, I think they're going to find yeah. out, especially because, look, Vegas at home, Jacksonville, that right there is going to get them to nine. Nine in the and, AFC. And, you got to get to ten. And if, they, and if they split, so what you're telling me is they got to split home against the Patriots at Arizona. Mm-hmm. you got to check the boxes and split. They went three out of four. And now they get the bye. Talk to me as an ex-player. What does it mean to get the buy this late? What, what's the positive and the negatives for a team that has now gotten there and they're like, all right, we can take a deep breath here? It comes at the ideal moment because you're midway through the season and now you get a chance to really relax and rest mentally and physically. But we're more than midway. We're 13 games And in. I know. And they had a late buy, but you look at – how they're playing football. I think they're playing some of their best football right now. So you don't want the bye. You don't necessarily want the bye because you're in rhythm. But for guys like Jonathan Taylor, for guys like Carson Wentz, who's been dealing with some injuries, you know what I mean? Well, he wanted it earlier. You're fatigued and you're you're physically fatigued. So I understand being able to win the way they did today and now ride off into the bye week, they should bounce back next week against the Patriots, which will be a playoff caliber team they're going against in the atmosphere. They should have so much energy. And they're going to catch the Patriots at home after the Patriots play Buffalo, and, and, and I think I, that's a bad thing. I think weird. you if, play if, Buffalo, and then, and then they got to play on Saturday. Like you were putting the Patriots in prime time late, and then on Saturday early. I mean, it's it's kind of a short week for the Patriots. If a team can do it, it's a Bill Belichick coach team. But the thing that I would be concerned about if I'm the Indianapolis Colts is you're facing a Patriots team that could be coming off a win against the Buffalo Bills, seven straight, feeling real good, and you just took a week off when you were humming. Yeah, well, we'll find out if the bye week helps or hurts the Colts as the Colts right now. You look at it, I mean, they get a win, they check the box, and boy, did they dominate the Texans this year. All right, straight ahead, more action from the early slate, including where was the upset, who fell, and could we have a team find a way to get their first win of the season? That's ahead, the HK. 
Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.